More wireless devices are being used for mission-critical applications than ever before. The stateful switchover functionality of the wired network that enables sub-second recovery in the event of a failure is now a differentiator and a requirement for wireless networks to satisfy user demands and expectations. Users connect to access points for wireless access, and those access points are configured with primary, secondary, and sometimes even tertiary controllers. The challenge is when the primary controller fails. When a controller goes down, the connection between the access point and the controller, known as the CAPWAP tunnel, is broken and must be re-established to the secondary controller. As a result, the user is faced with unconnected downtime. They must re-authenticate with the access point and re-establish any session-sensitive applications they may have been running. Cisco High Availability Technology uses stateful switchover to mitigate and improve user experience by reducing that downtime. By utilizing a secondary standby controller connected to the primary controller by an Ethernet cable, Cisco's stateful switchover protocol helps ensure that the two controllers are always in sync with a duplicate copy of the access point information available on the secondary controller. This way, when the primary controller goes down, the access point can move over to the secondary controller instantaneously. This means the clients will experience no SSID downtime. The Cisco stateful switchover protocol also transfers the security keys of all the clients connected through the access point to the standby controller so that the client can re-authenticate seamlessly. Unlike other high availability technologies, Cisco's stateful switchover only requires one set of access point licenses between the primary and secondary controllers, saving considerable upfront cost and ongoing administrative overhead. Learn more about Cisco stateful switchover at www.cisco.com slash go slash wireless.